the hermetic axiom as above, so below. Uh, in other words, more officially called the law of correspondence, meaning all things correspond to all other things. We just stumbled upon a sage patch. Mm, oh, that's bla black sage. Mommy and Thea behind us. The heavens reflect the earth. The earth reflects the heaven. They are inseparable from each other. The heavens aren't the origin, neither is earth. They both operate under the same laws and the same restrictions and guidelines. <clears throat> There's a light side and a dark side to the law of correspondence that I wanted to talk about. Dark side is the manipulation aspect of correspondence, which is, you can, this is not, not it can be used as dark side, but used, we'll say used externally. When used externally, the law of correspondence, we can predict how people are going to act. Right, we pay attention to people's philosophies, for example. If someone tells you, it's a dog-eat-dog-out world out there, you know, life's a bitch and then you die, and you know what I mean? It's not that that's true or false. It is true to at least their understanding and their experiences and the decision that they have made on reality, on their reality. So, you're not, the, the point isn't to argue whether they're true or not. The idea is to go, okay, this person sees it as a dog-eat-dog -dog world. That means I know what decisions they're going to make. When push comes to shove, this person's going to be like, forget everybody else. I'm going to worry about me and I'm going to worry about mine. And like, again, there's nothing wrong with that. I, you know what I mean? It's, it's not to argue good and bad. It's just to argue. It's just to show how we can work with people by viewing the external world, specifically people's personalities. So you can... Makes you a good leader, makes you a good listener, um, makes you able to almost predict the future. You know what I mean? This, this is how scientists can sit in their armchairs and determine the, the, the pathway of the stars by using mathematics. They know mathematics they learned here on Earth and they can apply those to the stars and they can let them know when there's going to be a big ass eclipse or something like that. You guys recognize this tree? Ralph Smart's always standing in front of it in his videos. It's a pepper tree. Here's the, here's the peppercorns. What up? I guess I shouldn't have used the dark side and the light side, because I feel like dark, light, good and bad, there's too much, people get too carried away with the subjectiveness and just get ridiculous with it. However, I guess what's more important is internal, external. Um, it's nice to be able to control the external world, but that's not necessarily the best way to do it. So the, the, the light side or the internal side would be looking at yours. Like, all right, what is, what is your viewpoint of the world? What's your catchphrase of the world? And I mean the real one, like when shit hits the fan and it's getting raw and it's getting real. You know what I mean? When we're pushed to the limit, when our, when we're, our souls are tested, that's that mentality that comes out, that is your actual, you know, not when you're waking up and you're in a great mood and it's all love and light, you know what I mean? And there's nothing to complain about, so it's easy to handle anyways. Um, and then we can change it. Or we can know why we think what we think. Or figure out how we came to that conclusion. Or, hey, that thought process helped me my entire life, but now I'm in a way fucking different circumstance and that old thought process isn't gonna hang anymore. You might have some programming from when you were like six fucking years old running that shit as a 35 year old and that just ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> not that it's bad or that it's good, just that it's not serving your purpose. It's uh, Remember, when it comes to hermetics, it's all about the quality, the quality of energy that's used at any given time. Whether it's masculine, whether it's feminine, whether it's push, whether it's pull, whether it's electric, whether it's magnetic, whether it's an outdated paradigm or whether it's a new paradigm. And sometimes we can go back. Sometimes we have paradigms that we accepted and it's like, you know what? Actually, this new one ain't working. I'm going to go back to the old one, right? It's not about new, new, new. It's about whatever works at the time. So this, this law of correspondence, that's what one of the biggest things is, is we learn about the external from the internal and we learn about the internal from the external. I hope that helps. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you're still, if you're already a part of the channel, make sure you're all hitting the notification bell so you're actually notified of the videos. We have 15,000 subscribers and only a, 
I'm looking at my algori algorithm, my analytics, and it's only hitting so many people. So you guys got to hit the notification bell. Leave a comment, like the video, and thanks, you guys, for chilling. I have more videos. I have more hermetics. I have a whole series on the basic laws as they don't apply to practical everyday things. I got a book on hermeticism if you want to check that out. Uh, thank you guys for chilling. We're out here in uh, the nature, ba uh, breathing in that good-ass prana, <laughs> as they say. But um, it's getting cold, so we're going to head back. But love you guys. I'll see you soon, all right? Peace out.